coward with no heart. Now, those are the words that people are using to describe the driver of a pickup truck who ran over a disabled man outside a Dallas restaurant and then took off. CBS 11's J.D. Miles joins us live from Oak Cliff with this story. Kaylee, run down and left to suffer here on this sidewalk and street in Oak Cliff after his legs were crushed. That's what someone did to a disabled man who has a message tonight from his hospital bed to that driver who did it. Joey Salas will find out in the morning if his heavily bandaged legs will have to be amputated. And I do got a slight chance of losing my legs. The 42-year-old with cerebral palsy is popular around Oak Cliff, not only as an advocate for the disabled, but also his involvement with the Tejano music scene. He had just left this restaurant on Tuesday night and was pushing his wheelchair down 12th Street when he was struck by a white pickup truck that took off. And I didn't see nothing until the truck came real close my body defense from making it up kicked in. And I don't remember nothing. Salas woke up in the hospital where he is surrounded by family and friends who are angry at the hit and run driver. Um, I think he's a coward. I don't, I, I can't believe someone would um, do something like that. Just you know, leave him out there mm -hmm. like a dead animal. Apparently, he don't have no heart. But Salas does have a heart and says he can forgive the driver who did this. He only worries about how he will be able to replace the motorized wheelchair he used to get around, including last year when he finally got his college degree. Well, all my life I've been adapting to everything. Witnesses have described the vehicle that took off from the scene here as a Ford F-150 with LED lights. That's not a lot for police to go on as they start this investigation. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.